Hello my friends and welcome back to SnowRunner with me, Mark from DadX and the Mighty Fleet Start and as you can see we're getting busy. Now I'm back on Island Lake. We grabbed the big container of drilling equipment from the warehouse over here which means we've got to get this all the way across this map and I thought we'd give the Fleet Star a go. We're in the uh, using the low ratio gearbox and the locking diffs the problem here is the lack of weight over that front axle there are points where steering is really gonna be have to well it's gonna need to be done gently that's the best way of putting it i'm really sorry by the way for the lack of um episodes lately i've had to spend quite a bit of time away from home which means no xbox uh, my mother unfortunately is very ill and uh i've been traveling down to spend some time with her so enough of that though, it's not because I don't love you and I don't love the game. I've just stopped here to do a quick repair. We may as well start with a clean slate. We're going to need some fuel, but I've also accommodated that. We did leave a fuel trailer about halfway across this map for exactly this kind of eventuality. I also have a plan B prepared up ahead. Now I think the first little challenge and also I thought this map is going to tell me very quickly whether this is actually even going to be possible. We've got a very tight bend here with some very, very soft edges to the road. And as you can see, it's getting that front end round that is the real challenge. We seem to be moving the load okay. I thought it might just be too heavy. So I think we're going to have to do this quite carefully and quite gently. Obviously, the last episode was a complete fiasco in terms of productivity. In fact, we ended up <laughs> with the objective missing. And it still is. I did check before I started playing. And, um, yeah, those oil barrels have just disappeared. So, um, bad luck, Cletus. You should have been more careful, mate. What can I say? But we put enough effort into uh, getting them, even if it was misdirected effort. No one can deny that. I love the way things pop like that trailer did just then when they get their physics. Right, we know down here, come on, we need all the luck of the ace and spades and the Hawaiian lady. We know down here there's some very, very soft patches right by the edges of the road, like about here, and I really need to start being much more gentle. So, can we drag ourselves up onto the more solid part of the track? The White Western Star is obviously a candidate for this task. I thought we'd see how far we can go. Hopefully, if we get to a point where we can't get any further, we could at least just detach the trailer and maybe a, a heavier, more power. Oh my word, that's a camber. How I got, I'm not quite sure how I got away with that. I think we are going to need to make some fine adjustments for sure I hope we're not stuck down here in this swamp no oh my word how are we getting away with that that's very lucky can we get this front end round please we got to get on the bridge uh, this is what I mean if we can't get across here we know this just isn't going to work this might be the most challenging part of this little journey across this map and of course we've just got a whole other map to get this load across but uh we'll cross that bridge when we get to it quite literally all those bridges we built including this one which we have got on oh my word we were on it we were on it yeah fine adjustment is necessary i think i've gone into this a little bit too uh fast which is usually the cause of my downfall to be honest when it comes to actually tipping stuff over I'm not doing it in the very, very slow way it would be done in real life. And I haven't got a banksman. <laughs> there you go. That's a little bit more. Are we going to get that back axle up on the bridge? Yeah, we are. Go on, faith, faith. Just, yeah, we're on. Right. I think we're going to be okay through the next section of the map i can't think of any particular challenges if i do have any particular disasters i shall bring them to you live and direct right and we've uh, skipped ahead slightly you've missed absolutely nothing 
I'm just making sure I get around these rocks. But it's the bends and the angles and the inclines. Certainly on this stretch of the map. And we're getting more into that kind of terrain. That is uh, the challenge. Purely because as you can see the steering is so light. And sometimes non-existent. So we're going to grab some fuel from the trailer. We left here for exactly this purpose. I've never got round to tidying up all of the trailers. This map's pretty clear. The next map. Drummond Island seems to be covered in trailers at the moment and obviously there's no trailer store there so they may well stay unless I get really a chunk of spare time but I really need to focus on getting these missions done. Now I think we're going to be okay I hope, fingers crossed if we can take it easy and there you go, exactly that. Just lost all the steering there instantly and you can see why, look at that, popping wheelies in the... Uh, Fleet Star. That's how cool we are. Yeah, the next map's got those horrible wet patches, which I think are going to be the biggest challenge. Whereas getting across this map is about not crashing. And also taking it very easy. And this trailer is definitely pushing me down the hill there. I can feel that for sure, but... Let's just see, it's where we get these little turns on the track. And a little, there you go, look again. Exactly that. Thank heavens for bulletproof telegraph poles, eh? Come on, turn, 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 turn. Oh, we just got a bite on the front axle there to get us back onto the track. So let's see how far we can get the fleet start and this load. If we need to switch to a bigger truck, we will. I've got some vehicles on the next map to help. We shall see, but no more mucking about. You can see plan B up ahead. <laughs> the twin steer already has one of these on it. Although, to be honest, I think the twin steer, because it uh, lacks articulation is, and is such a long plank of a truck, may well have a real hard time negotiating Drummond Island because of all the turns and as soon as I'm not quite focusing I'm tipping and turning and bumping so we certainly need to be careful and I've skipped forward again <laughs> just as I've carefully hit a tree and again um, it's quite unusual for a fallen tree to have such physics but that one hung us up and that's pushed us off the edge of the map the map the track and it's getting dark. I will fix that when it becomes a bit of an issue. To be honest, the darkness, it can look great. Yeah, it makes the gameplay harder. But because I find, certainly, because of the, the limitations of the camera angles, you've got no kind of torch. Um, basically, you can't get out and have a little look around. It, it's kind of unworkable. It's uh, kind of for fun, maybe. But you wouldn't work in the dark. So once we get to... Uh, a nice looking spot we'll bed down for the evening and as you can see i moved plan b up to the top of this hill in case i had trouble getting up it but i've had none but oh my word look we're completely wheeling we've hit the telegraph pole and yeah <laughs> might have to rethink that a little bit again it's just a complete i was worried about getting up the hill i didn't think getting down it would be this much of a, a trouble but again, just no, well, no, not no weight on the front axle there. A complete wheelie over this little crest and uh, straight down into the ditch. So gently, gently, can we yeah, drag ourselves, there you go. We'll drag ourselves over this way a little with the winch and find that we've then just rolled straight <laughs> off this side. Okay, right. This is where you really need a big front weight. Why can't I just strap a huge lump of concrete to the front of my fleet star for this operation? It would be quite handy, but... No! Oh! Right, I'm going to have to winch back, I think, to that telegraph pole. That should be able to drag me back that way. There you go. Daylight. That'll make it a bit easier. Yeah, I just can't get the traction. I can't get the still see we pull this way. It's somewhere here as those back wheels hit the middle of the track. It's just lifting the front there. There. 
Right, come on, gently, gently. I must be able to get around here. Back up. A little bit at a time. It's just like Tesco's car park at about 6 o'clock at night. Lots of gentle manoeuvres. Oh, the other videos that I didn't really get around to making, and although I've got even more, well, I've got another valid reason for that one, it was the RC stuff. If you were looking at them, unfortunately, working on the real car, which passed its inspection today, I'm glad to say, first time, um, partly because of the work we've done on it, well, mostly because of the work we've done on it, but in doing that work, I managed to get my uh, right hand trapped between an anti-roll bar and the uh, lower control arm of a Mitsubishi Galant, and it gave my hand a good firm squish which made uh, let's just say fine control etc a little bit of a challenge <laughs> so i will be back with that it's actually quite not a bad winter activity certainly the build videos and then we can get them out in the filthy mud and have a little run so if you enjoyed any of the rc then th there will be more of that to come but yeah I've had, I've had a busy busy two or three months in a, a few respects or Certainly ones that are a little hampered. Nice little screenshot there. We're doing well, Mr. Fleet Star. We've got another hill to go up here. Let's just keep going. Please keep the traction at least up the hill. What would be deadly would be if there was like a really sharp bend over it. Oh, look, see. Oh, no, that was completely me. That was user error. I'm not quite sure why I put that winch on there. But I'll take it back. Oh, there we go. It's like if Evil Knievel was a trucker, he'd have a fleet star. There we go. Look at that. Just need some kind of fireworks and a hoop as we do a burning hoop as we do that. Right, can we get back around the corner though? That's the more important thing. Just stop and have a little moment here with the fleet star after all that excitement. I think we haven't got far to go. But maybe I'm underestimating that. I think it looks a little bit soft and muddy down here. So just go, 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 Fleet Star. Go, go, go. That's it. Don't let the mud start taking hold. But it's the next map where the mud is going to be the challenge. Here it's the mud just off the edges of the roads. And there again, look, you see, I nearly got just lost it enough to tip over to the right. Not only have you got to be quite careful, and maybe take this even a bit more slowly than I am, but just be ready to stop. <laughs> but we're there. Let's get in the square. And we shall see you in Drummond Island. We've crossed the map, just one to go. Okay, so here we are. First job, I think, is to drive out of there and then activate the four-wheel drive. I do know, well I don't know, I haven't cut across behind us, which is the marked road, to um, get round there at all, have I? I've traditionally driven round here and through these trees. Is it something I'm going to be able to do with that trailer? That looks tight in there because there's a big old tree in the way. What about, I mean this could be my first big mistake. If we get around here... I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be better than trying to get around that mess. So, that's the first part of our plan. I do have teammates, other vehicles, stashed around this map. The Chevy isn't far away with a trailer of fuel, because fuel is our first priority, by the look of it. And uh, we'll pass him on the way, provided we can even make this much progress. Very slow going in reverse. Right, fingers crossed everybody, we are going in. Let's see how far we can get before we're crying for help. So, can we, <laughs> can we get back under the trailer to reattach it? First challenge. No. <laughs> right. Go on. Fit under there. You're not going to fit under there, my word. See, what actually happened, I haven't shown you, but I came through the tunnel. I detached the trailer and I went to drive away and engage four-wheel drive, but I kind of just pressed X and it sent just the truck back to the last map. 
and left the trailer here and the trailer is now sunk and I can't get it reattached right this is silly there we go there we go come on no you're not gonna let me blag it that much come on we're under we're in trailer's too far away at least we're under it come on that must attach right off we go straight into the mud look at that no steering let's remember I'm not going to keep the diff locks on unless we need them because obviously a late see that looks really dangerous already I can't go sh I'm having trouble just going straight <laughs> Is that a bad omen? Once I get across this dip, is this dips in the ground are killing me, right? Come on, this way. Give me a bit of traction. There we go. There we go, there we go. Now I need to look at that. I'm getting very little saying which way this truck goes at the moment. <laughs> that way, it's pointed in roughly the right direction. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Miss that rock. Oh, one point of engine damage. Okay, we've negotiated the first little challenge. Now we've just got to get through here. First wet bit. And we're tipping. Diff locks. Even out the weight. Come on, come on, let's get out of the mud. Excuse me, Mr. Telegraph Pole, we're doing nicely. We're doing very nicely. You can see the front end look off the ground again. Can't back up in that gear. Come on. Got the front wheels back on the ground, please. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Just got on there just in time. And now we've got to get down this hill and meet up with the Chevy. Come on, we've got to get around this corner. <laughs> Who knew the challenge would be turning? Right. Turn. Please turn. Turn, turn, turn. Not going to turn. I'll drag you around with the winch. Come on, I'm sure we can get around this telegraph pole. Yes, that'll do. And that way, gently, 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 gently down the hill. Down the hill. Stop here, lovely. Handbrake. Stop engine. And we see we made it here with seven litres of fuel left. That was handy, wasn't it? We'll have all of that, thank you very much. And we'll be straight on our way. Right, so our plan... Start the engine. Our plan is to cut straight across this yard, out the back of it. Without tipping anything over. There's a tree right in the way. Can we go straight over this tree? Yes. It's cutting out. If I just, uh, we just look on the map. If we can get up and around here, which I hope we can, it saves all of this around here. So it's got to be a good, good move if we can pull it off. I was tempted to promise you that if this all goes over at some stage, we just reset, start again, and I bring you back to where it was that we went wrong without putting you through the uh, the trial the trauma of watching me trying to figure it out <laughs> especially after the last uh, disaster right this is, seems to be working can we get up this hill and round the corner with probably no front wheels on the ground we need to miss that tree stump we need to get the diff locks on oh my word that wasn't even me that was just a bounce off the ground there it's okay though what happened why did we bounce like that can we avoid it? Yes, we can. 
Right now, turn, please turn, turn. Turning might be asking a bit much. <laughs> My front wheels are about two feet off the ground here. Um, so it's back up until they're not, right? And now try to turn, turn, bounce on the ground. It's sort of working. If we hit this bank, we might get a bit of traction. There you go. Um, can we get around? We need to get around. This is going okay. We just need to get around. And we can't do it without putting too much of a tip on that trailer. Come on. Get over that rock. Please get around that rock. Oh, we made it. Beautiful fleet star. I love you. Right, how, how's the back end of this trailer looking? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just say yeah and we'll go. And uh, we're not. We're going to have to pre-steer. Because I'm sure we're not going to get much... Wait, oh, no, please, rocks, don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. Are we doing okay? I think we're doing okay. Oh, we're doing okay. Some of these rocks are looking a bit naughty. I'm going to try to keep them out of the equation. We've got enough to worry about. But it's not easy when you can't actually really steer very much, right? So again, steer early while we can and hope. There you go. Hope, hope, hope. Bounce off that rock. No. We're not getting around this corner. And now the rock is under the truck. Right, just a moment, just a moment. I've got an idea. Attach winch to that one. You can pull us that way. You pull us that way. Go on, go on, past the rock. Is this working? We're still attached by the winch, remember. we got to get round here. Pull on the winch, pull on the winch, pull on the winch. Yes, yes, that actually worked. Release the winch. That's exactly how they do it, IRL. Right, we've got the same issue here. We've got no steering. No steering, no steering. Right, where do we get some steering? We don't get any steering anywhere here. Okay, so we'll drag ourselves this way a little bit and see if we can possibly recognize the fact there's a corner here I think our front wheels might be about to touch the ground but it could be ever so too late for us to actually take this corner um, where's that winch attached from the back no, back up back up back up back up Swing this around. We need to get now. Pull, pull me that way a little bit. There you go. A little bit more that way. Can we get any kind of turning going on here at all? Come on. The summit. We're winched on. We're connected to that tiny tree. Pull, tiny tree, with all your might. Oh, where are we headed for? Oh, we've made it. We've made it. Tiny Tree did the job. Can we get around this corner? Yes, we can. Now we're going to have to be really careful because down this hill we're going to have no steering and no brakes. So, kind of like the situation I'm talking about, avoiding is the one we're getting into. Handbrake. Full lock. Have I got any traction at this point? Barely. Come on, get me around the rocks. Get me off the rocks. Get me off the rocks. Please, now I'm on the rocks. There's nothing to winch to. I need to get over to the left. Can I get over to the left here? That's better, that's better, that's better. I've missed the rocks. I've missed the rocks. Break, 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 break. If I break, the weight just shift onto the front a little bit more. Gives me a little bit more of what you might call steering. 
Right, bridge, this is vital, obviously. I'm pointed in the right direction when we do this. And gently, gently, trundle. Trundle for the win. And now big run up, and we've got to get up the other side. Go, go, go. Go, go. Come on, fleet start. Pull. Pull. Oh, we've got a wet bit right at the top. We're slacking, we've locked the diffs, we're pulling with all our might, we're bouncing off those rocks. I need to get winched over that way before we tumble over. Right, park. <laughs> we did get a bit of an angle on then. I don't know if you noticed, but we managed to rescue it. Right. All we've got to do is get over there now. Gently, gently. Uh, right, normal gears. We need to get the front end swung round without the back end tipping round too much. And are we achieving that? We're achieving it, we're achieving it. Right, let's just make sure I'm not confused and we are now going the right way. Yes, straight down here, past the fuel station, around here. The tag is up here. He was providing us assistance cover for this half of the map that we haven't needed yet. Right, we're going to wheelie down this hill, so let's make sure we're pointing in roughly the right direction. I don't want to go over this edge, so gently, gently. Gently. Okay, we've got touchdown. We can steer a little. Go, go, go. It's very wet in places around here. So... If we can get around the corner, we may be better off going through the yard. And we can get around the corner, because that corner behind this rock is really wet. So we'll just avoid it. We're doing really well. We're doing really well. We can grab a splash of fuel on the way through here. We don't actually just annihilate the entire thing. Let's get some fuel, just in case we do. Because I can't steer. <laughs> Come on, somebody help me. Somebody help me get around this corner. You'll help me, won't you? Telegraph pole. There we go. The world is my pivot. And now, yeah, we've again, we've avoided a slow wet bit over there. Now we've just got the fast wet bit over here. There's the Tega. We're making really good progress. We're making very good progress. Right, we're not actually steering at the moment. I'm not sure it matters right here. Got to get round here. Come on, turn, turn. Wow. <laughs> can we do it all by ourselves? I think we probably can. We can winch onto there, pull on the winch. And just back up a little. We did that all a little bit too... Oh, no. Cool. I didn't realise it was the back of the truck attached to the pole. Now it's not, so now it can, can pull us around here. There, let go. Let go. Trailer coming past beautifully. There's the Tega. He also got that. Did you see that tree just spring back into life? Then look. Oh, hello. Little fist bump for the bro. And oh, look at that bouncing for him. He dragged the um, service trailer out of the way because, of course, me being me, I had left it in the middle of a path. So I did have the foresight to get it out of the way before we suddenly found it in this one. And uh, with the diff locks on, we're dragging our way through. The, the weight definitely is not the issue here. It's more the, the the unbalancing caused by the height of the weight and obviously this issue of the weight. But on the plus side, that much weight on the back wheels must be making sure I get quite a nice amount of traction. It's just that the management of the vehicle needs to be done in a slightly unusual way. Look, no steering, no steering, come and touch the ground. 
And the thing you've got to be really careful of, obviously, is that when you do touch the ground, it doesn't twist the truck. And then the weight will be a big factor as it twists you over. And here I'm getting a little bit too rolly for my liking. With such light steering. Right, we're on, we're on. Go, gun it, gun it. Across the bridge. Up the hill, just go, 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 go. Lock the diffs, lock the diffs and go. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Roll back a little. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if it's what they teach you at trucker school. Maybe it is exactly what they teach you at trucker school. I think we nearly fell over then. Just a moment, let's focus. Let's focus, get back up on the road, please. Back up on the road. Need to get the weight balanced on the back. Oh, that was dicey. Right, I pull on the winch. Gently and over. Drive this way. I think we've rescued it. That was very close to tipping there. I think the trees that we ended up leaning on helped us quite a bit. Now we're heading into a very wet patch and we can't get around this trailer. <laughs> Come on, gently, gently. Very gently. I can't get past the trailer that I actually moved out of the way, ironically enough. Where am I now? I feel like I'm getting stuck somewhere behind me. Ah! Again, I got the winch connected on the rear of the truck and didn't realise I'd done it. I've got to be careful. Got to be a bit more careful. Right, we'll just back up to here. And try to turn a little bit left here. There you go. There you go. Go, go, go. This is going to be wet, but we've just got to do it. Diff locks. Go. Come on, prove me right about the traction on those rear wheels. We're doing it. Got to make sure we're steering, though. We don't want to get tangled up here. We're not really steering, but it's working out fine. Well done, truck. The truck and the trailer sorted that out between them. My input was quite minimal. I'm restricted mostly to the trailer, and I want to back up a little, try and get the truck straight up here before we lose all control. There you go, gently. Nope. Don't want to get over that dip. So we need to get over here while we can. There you go. There you go. Now at least we're going to come down flat there. It's better. The front, the right wheel was over a much bigger dip than the left wheel. The way the truck was trying to point there. And that probably would have uh, got a nasty angle on the load. And we're not pushing our luck. Let's go for the diff locks. Again. Make sure you can steer before you commit. This is a really icky wet bit. The Tager had a little bit of trouble dragging its way through here. On its way to the, the rendezvous point we haven't needed. The Pacific is stashed up here. He has no real upgrades um, available to us. There's a gearbox we haven't got. The heavy duty gearbox I think it was called. Which would give us, I guess, a choice of ratios which we haven't got yet. It has perma-locked diffs still but there's no four-wheel drive that I can see. But it is now painted in a way that matches the heroic fleet star 
a little bit better. Right, I think the trailer looks safe, he said. Famous last words. If we yank... Can we just yank the, tr the truck around enough to touch the ground? Yes. We've released the winch. We are still steering. And we are still going. Right, now diff locks. Beautiful. The gearboxes, well, the tyres are without doubt the primary upgrade that you need for this game. And the gearbox has definitely made a bit of a choice difference because um, when you only had the one low gear, progress was so slow when you were in it. You only really went in it when you really needed the diff locks. Whereas now, because you can sometimes get too much speed up so that you need to switch off the diff locks before you hurt them it's a much better option but again very careful through here because it's the bounces and the bumps that are really going to catch me out but I can see tarmac uh, and that's good I've just got to figure out how to get the front of the truck to it and I think it's going to involve help from another one of our tree friends can I push my way past there? Nearly. Yep. And. Oh my god. No. I have no idea what did that. It was the winch. I left it attached. Right. Don't worry. In fact, this was the perfect place for this to happen so I can demonstrate my foresight. Because right here is the Pacific who is going to flip, I'm no doubt, the fleet start back on his feet, so to speak, very easily. And then, on this map, ready for just such an emergency and not too far away at all, is the White Western Star with the biggest crane you've ever seen to get the container back on the truck. So, this is not the most agile of beasts, but is definitely powerful. It's only tyre upgrade, I think, is chained tyres, which don't seem appropriate. But it's got all the power and grunt. Reminds me a little bit of the old Kira Vets that was in some of the older games and has appeared in a few different games. That kind of just big, powerful tractor. Right, so, get one of those winch points up there and ready, steady, go. Oh, easy peasy. Look at that. That's got to be a good omen. So, that seems a very natural break. <laughs> Do not panic. This was all part of the plan. I left the winch on. I was just talking about making sure I didn't leave the bloody winch on as well, wasn't I? Anyway, guys, I'll be back very soon. Take care of yourselves. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave it a like if you have. Any comments or feedback is always welcome. But for now, take care and goodbye.